last fight was in Paris against Charles Jordan, which was only six weeks after the fight before that, which was against Charles Rosa. Both at a new weight category, you know, I've moved up. Both wins, both dominant decision wins. Yeah, you know, I enjoyed every minute in there. I got to get a bit of ring experience and it felt nice to kind of dust the cobwebs off. You know, I'd obviously been out for two years almost and, you know, to get two back-to-back -back wins in the space of six weeks was uh, a good feeling. So Charles Jordan was like a, a step up fight, if you like, you know, going into that fight, a lot of people, I think underestimated me, I think had me down as the underdog. Obviously he was on a bit of a tear, he had a really good fight against Shane Burgos. He lost, but a lot of people said he won. Um, and yeah, you know, going into the fight, I, I wouldn't say I was nervous, but you know, I was, there's a lot of pressure, you know, there's a lot of, okay, you're going to, you know, fight in Paris, he's French Canadian, so you know, you've got, you're obviously going to have them booing you and, you know, you're fighting a high level guy here, you know, maybe a step up in regards to the previous opponents. And uh, yeah, you know, the pressure, I rise to it. So, you know, the fight camp went amazing. You know, I just kind of, I prefer being the underdog if you like, you know, I go in there and the, the pressure makes me, makes me perform better. So, you know, the fight went perfect as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, there's a couple of times I rocked him in the fight. Maybe I played it a little bit safe. You know, I think watching back, I could have finished it, but, you know, I wasn't underestimating my opponent. I knew that he was very high level and, you know, he likes to throw some crazy jumping kicks and stuff. And, you know, I didn't want to end up walking in on something like that. So I played it safe, played it smart and uh, got the win and no injuries. Listen, one voice. Listen, take down. We're going to go live. So if I'm here, I have any take down, I choose here. Now we're going live. Bob, he, he needs to get and work his way back to his feet. If he does so, he takes me down. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Now that I've moved up a weight, you know, I'm able to be more active because I don't need as long to, to make the weight, you know. So for me, normally at Bantam weight, I probably need 10 weeks just to hit the scales. And obviously after every fight, you know, you balloon straight back up. But now at featherweight, you know, six weeks, I can go again, you know, every time I make weight and, you know, just keep that fitness going and you know I was, I was straight back on the treadmill after the Charles Rosa fight and just text my manager like look let's go again you know I'm fit I'm healthy so you know if I can make the weight why not get beaten up by your shadow Mitch <laughs> hi guys my name is Barry Healy I'm Nathaniel Woods boxing coach and today we're going to be going through an open session a little bit of uh, sticks a little bit of paddles a little bit of pads just working on a few things can't show you everything obviously but you'll see a good good boxing session ahead you know, I'm not a weight cutter. You know, I'm not that type of guy. I walk around very lean. You know, for me to make bantam weight, I'm probably 3% body fat. You know, it's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I feel more comfortable now at 145. And, you know, I look forward to the future in this division. Stay close. Let, let, let me be closer. Training for me is amazing at the moment. I feel like I've got all the right coaches. You know, it's all under one roof as well here at Great Britain Top Team. Um, and I think that was the missing puzzle piece you know in the past I had to travel to gyms travel here travel there and now everything's under one roof so you know we're able to strategize it a little bit better and even though I've had almost 30 fights now I'm still young you know I'm only 29 so I'm still growing in the sport you know I'm still kind of finding things that I like you know learning new moves learning new techniques and you know I've still got a long way to go so you know it's exciting I'm, I'm still changing as a fighter and you know, I had two years out with injuries from competing, but I was still training for those two years. So, you know, I think a lot of people kind of expected me to come back the same fighter that lost to Casey Kenny, but I'm a whole different different level of fighter now. And um, I think that showed in my last fights. This is the end of the week now, so I'm just feeling it, you know. Look forward to that rest day. But what doesn't kill us only makes us stronger, right? 20, 20 and we're done. Let's go. Sure.